Hey everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make this woven hat for any size stuffed animal. Now let's get started! Now the main thing you'll need is any kind of yarn, string, or twine. I'm using this kind of dull light brown colored yarn. And the first thing I need to do is make a little head mold out of aluminum foil. So I just grabbed a large piece of that and my stuffed animal and pressed it around their head. And since stuffed animals are pretty soft and squishy, you won't get a very smooth shape, but that's completely fine. Next, to smooth this out, I want to put this on something firmer that is roughly the same size as my stuffed animal's head. And you can use just any kind of object in your house, a bowl, a fruit, or you could make your own shape by crumpling up more foil or just recycled paper, which is what I did. You kind of want it to be flat at the bottom so you can kind of flatten out the sides of the foil, which will be the mold for the brim of the hat. Now I'm trying to smooth out the foil as much as possible because that'll give me a stronger hat in the end. Don't worry if you can't get it perfectly smooth though. Mine definitely wasn't and the hat turned out fine. Now we can actually start making the hat. I am going to be using Mod Podge for this. You can use any kind of glue similar to this though. Now I'm just painting this on in the center of our mold and grabbing the end of yarn and starting to wrap it around the center. This beginning part is a little tricky, but it's okay if you have a little hole at the top. Then once I've covered the foil with the glue on it, I'm going to go over the top of the whole thing and just paint it with more Mod Podge. This will help the strings stay together on the inside and outside. Now I just need to repeat these steps going around our entire mold. I also wanted to mention that I didn't come up with this technique myself. I learned it in a video by My Froggy Stuff, who showed how to make this for dolls. A few years ago, I tried to make it a lot bigger for a stuffed animal, and it worked pretty well, but the hat was kind of flimsy and falling apart. But I am making some adjustments so you're able to make bigger versions of these hats for your stuffed animals. I had to film this over a few days, so right here is what it looks like dry. The Mod Podge dried clear, and the whole thing should be pretty sturdy. But I still have a long way to go, so I need to get back to wrapping. So right now I have the main rounded part of the hat covered, so next I need to do the brim. Again, I'm trying to smooth out the foil as much as possible so the string sticks better. Then I can just repeat the same steps. For some reason, wrapping this around the flat surface was harder to me, so what I did was use the paintbrush to really flatten the string against the glue, and then I could just add more Mod Podge on top of that. And you'll want to make sure you're not pulling the string at all, or else it'll get kind of bunched up in other places. Other times though, I just used my finger to press the string down and make sure it was really stuck on there. Now I'm just gonna continue doing this until the brim is as wide as I want it to be. I ended up making the brim an inch and a quarter wide, which is pretty small, but I didn't want a big floppy beach hat I wanted it to go with more fall outfits, so I made the brim smaller. Depending how big you make it and what colors you use, you could totally make this a summer or spring hat. After letting this dry overnight, it should look like this. Now it's the moment of truth, it's time to peel the hat off the foil. I meant to carefully loosen around the entire hat first, but I was really eager to see if this would come off, so I kind of did the whole brim first. Once you get to the center is the trickier part because there's just so much foil everywhere, so it's probably best to just tear off the extra so you can see what you're doing better. It's okay if the foil doesn't come off in one continuous piece. Mine tore in some places, but I was able to pick those scraps out later. After I've taken the foil off, the hat is perfectly formed and ready to wear, but as you can see it's still pretty flimsy and you can see some gaps in the hat, so to make sure this isn't so easily crushed, I'm going to line the inside with some construction paper. You could also use felt or fabric for this, but I didn't have any colors that matched, so I just went with paper. To line the main part of the hat, I'm cutting out some triangle kind of shaped pieces, but I'm cutting out the side and bottom edge a little bit curved. You can just eyeball it though and then put it inside the hat to see how it fits. Once I have the shape I want, I can use this piece as a template to cut out some more. I cut out six of them and ended up using all of them. Now I can just glue these inside the hat with more Mod Podge. Then I can set this aside to dry. Meanwhile, I also want to line the brim of the hat, so I'm tracing that on some more brown paper. And since I obviously don't want it sticking out, I had to trim this a little bit to get it the right size. Then I can cut the hole in the center and glue this on with Mod Podge. This had some trouble sticking for me, so I used these tiny clothespins I randomly have. And these held the paper on super well while it dried, but you can always use any kind of clips to hold this together. After I let it dry, this hat is done! You can, of course, dress it up a little bit with some ribbon. 
you could glue it around the base of the hat, but the base of my hat was a little too slanted so the ribbon wouldn't lay flat. But I considered adding a little ribbon tied in a bow, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm just tying a bow like I tie my shoes, but without that initial knot. Then the bow's ready to glue on any part of your hat. I didn't think it really went with any of the outfits I had planned, so I just left mine off. But another thing I wanted to show you is a hat I made like this a long, long time ago. I made this one a lot smaller, and while it was drying, I kind of pressed it into the shape of a fedora. And in the middle of making it, I switched from a cream yarn to a black yarn, and that gave it this darker band in the middle. This one held up really well, though, for being made so long ago, so that just shows how these smaller hats can be really sturdy without any linings or reinforcements. Now, I'm finally going to try on the hat I just made. I tried to be a little more creative picking out this outfit for my stuffed animals, so I hope it all works. Her pants are the patchwork jeans I made in my last video. I also made this belt, which I showed in another video. And her top is this no-sew off-shoulder shirt I made in my most recent no-sew clothes video. Now I can add her little woven hat to complete the look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and comment any video suggestions you have down below. You already gave so many great winter suggestions I'm so excited to do, so that is coming up soon. I'll see you next time!